y la Aleluya. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. Lift your hands and worship him. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. your voice and pray in one minute say Lord tonight is my night insist that tonight is your night insist that tonight must be your night regardless of the situation no matter how hopeless it is insist that tonight is your night like jacob refuse and say lord tonight is my night i didn't come here to be a spectator That tonight is your night. Ha parata la kaposha taba ba 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 ba. Regete kabashi la parada ba la da ba ka da ba da ba da. The Lord is hearing you and is here to bless you. Insist. Hallelujah. 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 You must refuse to go back the way you came. Are you hearing me? You must refuse. There is a way you can hold on to God tonight and say, Lord, I will not go out the way I came. Not with that cancer, not with that HIV not with that yoke of bondage it's called a miracle service we are not here to play we are not here to joke the name came by the spirit and let me tell you something if you believe tonight god will surprise you don't be part of many who are just watching what is happening yes lord you will do mighty things Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Haleluya. Haleluya. I want you to know that God means business with your destiny this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now, I know that there are some of us who come into very prophetic meetings like this and just come in to joke around while away time, clap and see the testimony of others and go back. But let me tell you something. Tonight is not one of those nights. Are you hearing me? You must refuse. Don't clap as if you don't have a prayer request. You came for yourself too. Are you hearing me? And while it is good to celebrate the blessings of others, you must get angry and say, Lord, enough is enough. Again and again, as I prayed for this meeting, the Lord kept telling me, tell my people to believe. I am able. I am able. The Lord kept shouting this thing in my spirit. The problem is not from me. Tell the people to believe in me. The problem has never been from God, brothers and sisters. If he gave you Jesus Christ, will he give you anything? Will he have a problem giving you anything less than him? If he gave you Jesus Christ, you were not praying when he sent Jesus Christ. You didn't even know you needed him, yet he sent Jesus Christ. Is it a healing or a breakthrough that is less than Jesus that he cannot give you? Is it a curse or a yoke of bondage that he cannot break you free from? Is it marriage or husband or job? Is it change of genotype? What is it that he cannot do? Sometimes we let our problems overwhelm us so much and we think that God is intimidated by our problems. He's not scratching his head on his throne wondering what to do about your life. He's almighty. Hallelujah. You're going to pray one more prayer before you sit down. Say, Lord, tonight I believe. I believe. I believe. Say, Lord, I believe. I believe that this miracle is possible I've been doubting you I've been leaning on the faith of others but tonight I believe I believe this addiction can be broken I believe tonight is the night that the story of my family will change finally I believe that lump disappears tonight finally I believe that spell breaks forever finally pray like you're serious about a miracle Brothers and sisters, God is able. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Unto you be all the glory. Unto him be all the glory. Unto you be all the glory. Unto Every barren person in this place or those who are standing in for barren people, please come and line up quickly. Oh. 
unto you. Be all the glory. Please don't come and line up and miss. We are not playing here. If you don't know what you are here for, go back to your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the number of people that came here standing for themselves or for their loved ones. See how wicked Satan is. Now listen, if you were Jesus Christ, listen please. If you were Jesus Christ, will you stand, look at the number of people that are coming out. Because the devil has tied the womb of their, their wives or has made the husbands impotent. All kinds of jargons, low spam count, womb blocked, tube blocked. Look at the number of people that are standing. If you were Jesus Christ as a man, will you watch these people or the ones they are standing for and not touch them? God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you don't give up on god cause he will give up on you he's able celebrate god because barrenness will be terminated he's able God. God is able to do just what He says He will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He will give up. is able to make a barren woman rejoice after nine months he's able oh, 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 he's able I prayed for this meeting the Lord showed me visions and the Lord told me let this be the first case that will be addressed tonight I saw it again and again in the visions of the Lord there will be an exodus out of the realm of barrenness forever hallelujah now listen listen please let's hurry up there's a lot to deal with tonight among those of you standing those who are standing for themselves please i'd like you to come those who are standing for themselves i know there are some who are standing for others those who are standing for themselves shiva lanama come that devil is you can step up if there's no space just come up please come up let's hurry up except we are faking power in this place you will hear testimonies Except we are going to a harbalist. If it is the Lord himself that brought you here. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you something. Brothers and sisters. Satan is wicked. Don't let people fool you. With all kinds of nonsense messages. That make it look like life is just fine. The Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because of the prophetic destiny that these mothers and this my brother, these people have. The average woman goes to the hospital. They say the tubes are blocked or they say there is fibroid or every kind of diabolic satanic thing. Hallelujah. I'm angry my spirit. Oh, let me tell you.
Now is the time for the new anointing. Gird up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage surely must be broken. Every yoke of bondage. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. The Lord instructed me. Let me tell you, as I lay my hands on you, you will come back with a baby as a living evidence. Believe it. I don't care what the doctor said. That's none of our, is irrelevant. I don't care what they said is inside you or outside you. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain. Stretch your hands towards them. Let him go, thou devil of darkness. Come out of him right now. Out. Out right now. Hallelujah. Now, hallelujah. Lift your hands, those of you in front here. I'm going to pray for you. You are standing for others. Hallelujah. Now, for most of you, just, just let him be. For most of you, what is happening is demonic. Because I'm seeing it, the Lord is showing me. Hallelujah. The fire of God will fall in this place. And those chains of darkness will be broken. Not, not everybody, but there are some of you. And the power of God will come, whether you are standing for the person or not. Once you are standing in for somebody and it's a demonic issue, this is what the Lord is telling me. The fire of God will fall, burning that devil of darkness that is tying the wombs of many. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray. At the count of three, I want you, those of you standing, to shout the name of Jesus Christ. Those chains will be broken. At the count of three, ha, one, two, three. 
of you in front, lift your hands. Hallelujah. Hear me. Every power of darkness that has tied anyone you are standing for, every activity of witchcraft that has kept them tied, you are going to shout that name Jesus again. And as you shout, that blood that speaks better things will step in and dislodge every covenant. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Shake it, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me prophesy on you. And you will go back with your testimony. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I want you to believe it. I'm about to speak and release these miracle children. Believe it. Don't sit down doubting and wondering what is happening. Father, in the name that is above all names, for every one barren person in this place, Shaka Kapa, Seteketaba, Nande Kapa Rata Kapodo Sopa Yekata, receive your miracle children in the name of Jesus 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 I command every closed womb be open now in the name of Jesus. Every womb that has a fibroid, 
I flush it out of the body now. 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 Hallelujah. Any man that has been diagnosed to be impotent or to have no sperm count or whatever demonic diagnosis I change it now in the name of Jesus I change it now in the name of Jesus I change it now in the name of Jesus return to your seats rejoicing return to your seats rejoicing of her right now hallelujah brothers and sisters listen to me whatever followed you to this place this night has made the biggest mistake because it will leave you once and for all hallelujah hallelujah please everybody stand Just be silent for a minute. There are many of us that the predicaments in our lives, hear me please, and our families are as a result of yokes. Please hear me. There are many of you suffering things today you did not bargain for. You were just born into some families that have covenanted things and many of you have been taught that once you are born again everything just clears from your family i am i've said it again and again and i've been criticized from it you can see the proof these people are tongue-talking believers is that true brothers and sisters hear me if i am a thief please listen if i come into your house to steal huh when I hear the sound of someone coming, I will run out. Is that true? But if your roommate came and collected money from me and said the house is free and I paid, if I see you coming, will I run? I will claim I have ownership. Are you following me? That one is settled legally and it is only the blood. They are the kind of cases the Bible says we overcame them by the blood. That one is not in my name, you shall cast out devils. That one is, and they overcame them. Who are the them? Because the blood speaks better things. That means there is another blood speaking a lesser thing. Hallelujah. In scripture, there's no time I would have shown you how that in Bible days, there were certain times when the defeat of kings was imminent. What they did was they carried their children and sacrificed them. Until they sacrificed them, even God could not stop the situation. How many of you remember the slaughter of the sons of Saul? They went to God and they inquired. They said, Lord, there is death in the land. Things are not working. What shall we do? And God told them how that Joshua entered an agreement with a land and said we will not kill them. Are you, are you good Bible students? Remember the story. And now, they, they went and killed them by mistake. And the realm of the spirit started responding. And God's covenant people started dying. God could not do anything about it. When God prayed and said, what do we do? He said, go and ask the people to tell you what to be done. When they asked them, they said, give us the seven sons of Saul. And the Bible says, when they slew the seven sons of Saul... The land stopped killing people. The body of Christ has been robbed of sufficient spiritual intelligence. The body of Christ has been robbed of sufficient... Let her go. Come out of her now. Out now. Lose these chains of darkness 
and let this lady go. Listen, the body of Christ has been cheated. Many of us do not know that our parents covenanted Africa. Every tribe, every tongue, every nation in Nigeria were at one point idol worshippers. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I don't care where you are coming from. Now, the point is, they went to meet these gods of darkness to look for protection. Is that true? To look for fruitfulness. Is that true? And all kinds of things. Now, as time went on, our parents or some of us had the gospel. Is that true? We had the gospel and we were translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. But that's where the trouble started. Because our parents did not suffer barrenness like this. Do you know why? They were gods they were servicing. So a woman will give birth to 12 children, no CS, no hospital, and nothing will happen. Because they were gods. And when a generation now made up their mind not to bow down, this devil said, that is it, let's see what will happen. And they started planting fibroids, low sperm count, all kinds of things to stop the birthing of a generation that will make them irrelevant. Listen, we are the generation that are in between. We are born again now. It's time for us to break the things that hold our families and bring them out. Our children would not need to go through these things. Are you hearing me? But in between us and our children, a generation will pay the price and it happens to be us. Are you getting my point now? This is what a lot of people do not understand. People say, oh, America. And look at what is happening in America. Do you know why? Because many of them did not understand that the devil was thriving well. They were just going around with plastic messages. Now a man can marry a man. Do you know the level of demon possession it takes for a man to desire another man? As if women are finished. A man can go to an extent of going to the hospital and change his biological configuration. Now that's acute demon possession. Are you getting my point now? So don't you sit down and refuse to deal with the things that are realities. Stop lying to yourself. It is on a, a lot of people, listen, a lot of people say, oh, I'm in Christ. The Bible says I'm a new creation. There is nothing else. Question, the Bible also said you are blessed. Why are you tightening and obeying to make the blessing a reality? I thought the Bible says it's already done. But there are principles you are obeying to actualize it. It is because you believe what the Bible has said. So you are partnering to see its reality. When the Bible says you are free and these powers are saying you are not free, you now take the revelation of the finished work of Christ to the camp of the enemy and enforce. Come on now. This is what we are doing. Are you getting the revelation now? It's not enough to just leave the... You take it to the devil and say, you are still holding my family. But the Bible says that in Christ we are new. The devil will say, that's your business. You say, all right, through the greatness of thy power, you compel him to submit. Otherwise, you will sit down there. There are families that the devil is having a free ride. That he has not attacked you yet does not mean he will not come. You are not married yet, so you don't know whether there's barrenness or not. The people that are suffering now, there was a day they will not come out for prayer call. Don't wait till it happens. Hallelujah. My family was tied down in all kinds of demonic things. I was comparing the messages I was hearing to what was happening in my family. One day I said, Lord, open my eyes. I don't want to be a fool forever. Are you getting my point? So many of you, let me tell you, you came with prayer requests, financial issues, whatever issues. You will know that it is one same spirit manifesting in different dimensions. Once you hit the root, you will see breakthroughs all around. Hear me? Some of these deliverances you are seeing is not about the individual. He is representing a family. So as God is addressing him, somebody who was not in the miracle service, suddenly they say the job has come. And you say, well, what happened? The music director is here. Where is he, Mike? Mike gave his testimony. Personal testimony. 
two of your sisters, two of his sisters were tied down. No jobs. They went to school. After last miracle service, what happened now? Two of them right now. Two, don't say it's a mistake. That cannot be a coincidence. Let me tell you. The devil will never let you go till you force him to leave you and your family. And that's what we are here to do tonight. I'm, I'm exhorting you to get angry. Because you see, if you are free and your family members are not free, they will tie you back. Are you getting me? A woman called, a lady called me today and said they do dialysis for her mother. 70,000 naira every week. They have been doing it for months. How much? How much? Let me tell you, no matter how wealthy you are, if you are spending 70,000 naira not on yourself, you are working to carry and spend for months, your patience will be exhausted. No matter how wealthy you are. When I heard that, I was angry. I said, now, you take this case to a man of God and you tell you, well, things just happen in the name of Jesus and the demons are just looking. And you finish an emotional prayer and drop a seed to the man of God and the demons just laugh. They say, lack of in spiritual intelligence. Demons fear territories where there is intelligence. Can I tell you, this one is not taught by theology. It's a product of the secret place. The Bible says the secret place, the secret things... Are with of the Lord are with them that fear him. This is why there's nothing to brag. It is spiritual intelligence that releases blessings. Are you see what is stopping the job now? You think about it. You apply, 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 apply. How many of you have seen people promise to help your family? They vowed, they swore, and they have the means. When it was time to help, something happen. Don't say something happen. In the realm of the spirit, every man is influenced by a spirit at every given time. Either it's the spirit of God or it's the spirit of the devil. Peter looks at Jesus and by the Holy Ghost, he says, I know who thou art. Thou art Christ, the son of the Lord. Is that true? The son of God. The next moment, Jesus is telling Peter, Satan, get thee behind me. And he tells Peter, Peter, Satan has desired to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your, fail, your faith fail not. He said, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Brothers and sisters, we are this generation that will help our families. There are many of our families, they went to school and they read books. They cannot explain what is happening with their lives. God brought you to this miracle service tonight. Can you say, Lord, maybe I'm the one that will stand in to end some things. It's not as difficult as you think. These are territorial powers sitting over families and they won't let you go. Some of you have written jam. Only God knows how many times. Why? They seize your result without any reason. Marriage. You are a beautiful girl. You've kept yourself. You love God. Any man that comes to marry you, something catastrophic will happen in his life. Do you know why? Satan wants to frustrate you, to make you think God is not mighty, so that you will resolve to go back to him. You go back to a herbalist and see if a husband will not come. Even if he's with frog jump, it will come. Because what the devil wants is not your lack of marriage. It's a union that is covenanted to him. Are you getting what I'm teaching you tonight? But we are that generation. We will say no. No compromise. We will break through the gates of the enemy. How many of us are ready to truly be free tonight? What you don't confront, you don't conquer, brothers and sisters. I confronted issues in my life. I took the word of God and I decided to cry for my life and my destiny. Otherwise, I would have remained a failure forever. Tonight, I want you to know that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they are mighty to God. To the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down every imagination. And every high thing. That has exalted itself above the knowledge of Christ. 
and bringing every thought every cancer every hiv every lack of progress tonight we are bringing it to the obedience of christ now before i start ministering i like you to pray in one minute and confront gates and say i represent myself and my family i come as an ambassador outside make sure you participate i come in as an ambassador it's time to be released it's time to be released from the shackles of darkness I'm breaking free breaking out pray for the sake of your loved ones help your family pray for your destiny say lord i now see the problem it's not just cancer it's not just hiv it's not just poverty it's a contention from hell hallelujah hallelujah yes Lord praise the Lord lift your hands everybody lift your hands as I pray the powers of darkness tying lives and families will give way listen I tell you there will be a move of blood and fire the Lord showed me why blood to open up the gates that has been closed why fire to burn everything that has not been planted are you hearing me lift your hands mighty Jesus father there are families that are here tonight as a matter of life and death Lord your people are not gathered at unto a man they have come for a visitation yokes of sicknesses are killing families there are many people who have been tied down and Lord we understand that the enemy has done this but tonight we come in by the blood of Jesus and Lord as I make decrees inside and outside unto the spirit that confirmed the words of your servants I pray that there be an exodus from captivity at the count of seven hear me i like you to shout the name the name of jesus at the top of your voice many of you will fall into visions and trances at once you will see liberations happening in your family ushers get ready let me have those under the anointing outside please shout Kata daba kataya. one two three four five six get ready now seven i plead the blood i plead the blood i plead the blood bring them out i plead the blood yokes be broken i plead the blood let the blood speak let the blood speak 
Shekekeka, Shekeka, Marekoto. Let the blood speak. The blood opens every gate. Every gate. Baka papa da 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 da. Shekete te 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 te. Eke reke te ba. Masoto seka. Rabaka te leke te ba. Mambre po shote li ba 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 ba. Hey ya 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 ya. Shekete te 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 te. Shaba ba 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 da 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 ba. Shaka da 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 da. Shaka ta pa ka na ba la la la. Shake it, 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 it. Lift your hands again. At the count of three, listen. I want you to shout, "I am free!" At the count of three, the moment you do that, there will be a release of fire. Fire! Get ready at the count of three. One, two. Three. Shaka parada, ma poto sosoba, rekete te kababa, o salaba da kata laba kata, rekete te ba. The fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake te 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 te. I command powers. Let God's people go. I command yokes. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Chains. Chains. Be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at this lady. See how many people are trying to hold her. Look at how many people are trying to hold one person. how many people are trying to hold one person come out now out in the name of Jesus out now you are going by the fire of the Holy Ghost leave her now now out come out let her be. Just leave her. Leave her on the floor. Out. Come out now. Be free from yokes. Be free. You and your loved ones.
let her go. Devil of darkness. Leave her now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Your time is up. Come out. Come out right now. Release this family. Release them now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Your time is up. The blood speaks. In the name of Jesus. of him now come out come out of him by the fire of the Holy Ghost release him and all that belong to him the blood speaks now I open up this gate now be free in the name of Jesus are the powers the horns that frustrates the agenda of the kingdom see you must not come out here as it's happening to them realize it's happening to you hallelujah now anyone with any kind of growth or anything in your body or you're standing in for someone lift up your hands whether a lump a growth Please lift your hands because it's time for it to go. Turn her. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. The name of Jesus, look at me. Right now, this is a this is a mighty. I'm seeing seven horns on this lady's head. Seven horns, and it's not just her. Seven horns. This is a territorial spirit that has sat on our family. But by the blood of Jesus Christ, I adjure you. By the blood of Jesus, I see a big gate closed. I open it now in the spirit. Many of you may not understand what is happening. I open it. I see a gate that is closed over that family. I open it now. All the chains on it let fire fall on them shake it up shake it one of the horn terminal disease the other one delay the other one joblessness the other one lack of marriage I set it on fire as I see it in the spirit now now as it's happening to her it happens to you in the name of Jesus lift your hands hallelujah I mean those just those with any growth please lift your hands now I'll start ministering to the sick right now. We'll just start with them. 
and we are going to take testimonies. Hallelujah. Before Pastor Jake comes up to minister, I'm going to pray for you. Sick people, lift your hands. If you are tired of that growth, just growth of all sorts, you are tired. If you are not tired, you can put down your hand. Whether it's a lump, whether it's whatever it is. Hallelujah. Now, as I pray for you, the Lord is showing me two people. The power of God will come upon them. There are movements on your body. Movements. 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 And the Lord is showing me a mighty being. Something that looks like an alligator. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is just showing it to me. Two of you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Wherever these two are, Lord, let your fire right now fall on those two. The power of God will come mightily upon those two people. Whether you are inside or outside, right now, the power of God will come and the fire will fall mightily. Please, when that happens, let's have the two people out. It's falling right now. It's falling right now. Movements in your body. Movements in your body. Say Kabalaya ba. Rakatetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now begin to check yourself. Who is Musa? Musa. Musa. Please quickly, if, I'm, if I call your case, hurry up, don't waste time. We're still expecting the person outside. The power of God will come upon the person. Just when that happens, let the person come. Musa, I'm hearing the name Musa. Who has the name Musa? Hallelujah. Please, when I mention your case, or any... you are Musa, what are you waiting for? Stand up. There is witchcraft in your family. And the Lord is going to use you as a mighty deliverer. Hallelujah. Janet. 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 The meaning of your name in your language means thank you. The meaning of your name means thank you. Thank you. You are a guy. Thank you. Is a brother, tall brother. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Now listen. There is a lady, this is a very interesting case I want to call. The Lord is ministering to me. Listen, listen. Not only do you see snakes in your dreams, you see them physically around you. This has happened in a long time. Who is that person? Please. You see snakes physically. Physically. This happens physically. It's your time of deliverance now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Please. The person is around. The person is here. Come out quickly. Please. Save our time. We have a lot to do. Who is that person? You are the one? Physically. Come. Come up. There's another person. You? Come. Come. Two of them. Come now. Hurry up. Look at me. You see physical? Yes. Since when? No. But no mic. Eh? That was last year and we didn't do this year too. Where do you see the snakes? In my dreams. Sometimes maybe when I go out, I see them on the way. You see them physically. What of you? I see them in my dreams. Are you married? Do you know why? This is what we must destroy this night. You, your deliverance will start now. Praise God. of her now out by the power of the Holy Ghost now the snake you are seeing is a man that turns to a snake for you right now I, I, I just saw him in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ leave her now by the fire of the Holy Ghost out come out now out in the name of Jesus Christ out tonight is your night of liberty this lady see you. because I am seeing and while I stood the Lord was ministering to me and the Lord was telling me that they have made a projection that this lady will never marry any man that comes around this lady this is what destroys him this lady you are seeing nobody likes her for whatever reason nobody can know right now leave her in the name of jesus come out now the snake you are seeing leave her right now by the fire of the holy ghost hallelujah hallelujah You brought the picture, two pictures. Listen, 
listen wait let me describe it before you come out you brought two pictures two pictures of your family members two different pictures you came and stood who is the person two pictures i mean one one two pictures you are here with two pictures of your family members who is that person the lord is ministering to me because there is i need to pray on one of them you brought two pictures of your family members please when we have that person come up what are these people here for oh i called you snake i i left her because we are going to deal with this janet where's janet who's janet three of you are janet you are from kogi state who is from kogi there is somebody from kogi janet kogi state is it kogi i think kogi is somebody please the lord is ministering to me let's save time because i don't want you to tie down somebody's i want god to grant us grace to minister your name is janet your mom's name is janet you are from kogi state come because i see they want to kill your mother lift your hands that your mom's name is janet i will pray for you so that she will be free where what's wrong with her we need to pray for her huh because i'm first seeing sickness and then i'm seeing a ghastly motor accident we must pray for her the power of god will come upon you and it will touch her thank you jesus lord by your mercy right now let your power set him free my brother i break the curse of witchcraft in your family by the power of the holy ghost Okay, hold my hands. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My dear, let me pray for you. This thing called bad luck must live your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be free. Totally free. I'm interested in your case. Let me pray for the rest. Which of your family members is here? If you are in her family come and stand here god is going to visit the whole family now our family if you are not part of our family don't come here please if you are part of our family just come and stand here quickly please let's save time sister look at me salvation has come to your life today this your crying is over are you hearing me because this i must pray this lady's family she has suffered you will just see a lady standing like this that god will pick a lady out because this is i'm seeing hardship yes sir where are you from from Berry. what's your father doing now nothing what's your mother doing nothing look at this how did i know do i know her because this is a cause of hardship there's nothing that they do that will prosper but tonight in the name that is above all names salvation comes your family realize that as it's happening for one person it's happening to you too in the name of the lord jesus hold my hands do you know what i want you to do shout hold my hands shout jesus at the top of your voice can you do that jesus! family come power in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray. Two things the Lord wants me to pray. Number one, your mother will not be a widow. Are you hearing me? We are going to pray. We are going to break that power. Number two, there is a cause of delay in this family that will be lifted now. Is that true? Am I making sense? There is a cause of delay. Hold your hands together. Oh, you are an usher. When I pray for you, you go and continue with your work. Praise God. There is a cause of delay. Father, in the name of Jesus, you ask me to call this family out. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I release them from this devilish shackle of delay. Rakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakatabakat
there is the power of god upon my hands i'm going to lay it upon you as it comes upon you it will terminate this delay delay begun you especially delay i cause delay delay in school delay in everything i cause it in the name of jesus and forgetfulness in the name of jesus christ come you where are you from Kaduna. you are from kaduna i need to pray for you hmm? you are not feeling very fine hold my hands this is a devilish thing thank you jesus release her right now by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah stephanie 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 do we have anybody like that stephanie that's the person bring the person in i mean that was the other one person remember our two people Break every chain. hallelujah we are going to pray for miracle jobs this night before the end of the program hallelujah enough is enough praise god we are going to pray for jobs two ladies you and you two of you talking come out come yes god would locate you what makes you think god will forget about you run and come come and take your breakthrough there is power in the name of jesus come and join them before you do your work see let me tell you something while she stood here she was praying and saying that the lord will locate her is that, is that what you were saying because i saw like a flash of light and i saw it written and this was what she was thinking and the lord said let her join and pray first hallelujah father in the name of jesus visit her family visit her family in the name of the lord jesus hold your hands together two friends you who came and we are just talking looking through the window and doing a lot of things god is going to visit you where is your mother go and tell her huh, that by next month a big miracle is coming for her hmm? you know when god tells me words like this i'm very careful before you go and write an article on me now people can write all kinds of articles prediction incorrect three exclamation <laughs> hallelujah hold my hands let me pray for two hold. god is going to visit you look at me you will be great ladies i want to pray for you the hand of god will come mightily upon you thank you father use them for your glory right now by the power of the holy ghost let their families be mighty let their lives be mighty i separate you in the name of jesus christ Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lay your hands on him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Let him experience your power and your grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are sick in your body. You came here specifically for a miracle, for sickness. Let me see your hands please let me see your hands quickly so that we'll know okay please come out and line up quickly let's minister to the sick now baba come i'll start with you please celebrate our daddy thank you for coming if you're outside please come quickly just line up quickly 
No. Welfare. Please, please, don't come out wondering, will God heal me? Will God touch me? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Pastor Williams, Pastor Jakes, can we quickly minister to them? Please, as hands come, worship him. Just lead us powerful songs of worship. Hallelujah. As we pray for them, those of you who are seated, just keep praying in tongues. We'll pray for them quickly and then we'll minister. I want God to touch everybody this night. Hallelujah. I want God to touch everybody. I pray that God will give us time. Hallelujah. If there is time, by the grace of God, we'll lay hands on everybody. Everybody. Hallelujah. We're just praying that we'll be able to do this quickly. Hallelujah. Worship team. Savior, He can move the mountains. Thank you, Father. Let your power move as we pray for your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead. As we pray for you, please go back to your seat. Pastor Jesus. Okay. As we pray for you, just, you don't need to tell us what is wrong with you. As we pray for you, just trust the power of God to touch you. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior, He can move the mountain. My God, my God is mighty to save. He's mighty, He is mighty to save. Author of salvation, forever and author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. My blood sister this thing has made me angry this is my blood sister blood of my blood bone of my bones that devil is a bastard this night this is my own blood sister same father same mother right now in the mighty name of Jesus let my sister this is my mother's baby bone of her bone flesh of her flesh In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of sickness. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her. Forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No sickness die for dough. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If I do not fall sick, my sister will not fall sick. In the name of Jesus Christ perfection everything wrong with you be healed now hallelujah sorry I took it personal the thing pain me hallelujah praise the Lord let's continue hallelujah please if you are holding a picture just lift it up and we'll pray on it lift it up and we'll pray on it praise God if you are holding someone's picture just lift it up we'll have the time when we pray on pictures Hallelujah. It's raining. It's As you go back, make sure you check yourself. Miracles are happening. It's raining. What's wrong with you? It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> I feel the wind 
the spirit now the heart beat of heaven let us hear let it roll let it roll open the
listen I want you specifically you can come and stand it doesn't mean you have it we want to cancel HIV now there's nothing to feel hallelujah whether for yourself or for your loved one doesn't mean you have HIV <laughs> hallelujah praise the Lord please don't be impulsive HIV is a killer disease <laughs> Have it come out. It's better to come out than to die. That devil is a liar. Bring her up here. Bring her up. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. HIV. How many of you know HIV is a killer disease? How many of you know that HIV is from the pit of hell? Hallelujah. And how many of you know that HIV is reversible? This is what we are going to do right now. Worship team, powerfully, that song, miracles everywhere. Hallelujah. As we pray for HIV, please believe it. Believe it for yourself and for any other person that you are standing for. As you are praying right now, some of you, when we pray for you, you need to call them and tell them this is it.
give Jesus a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you bring your prayer request? Do you have your prayer request? Please bring them out and pass it. Hallelujah. Ushers, coordinate them quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to know mighty miracles are happening in this place. Mighty, mighty miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mighty miracles are happening. Now, this is what will happen. Pastor Jakes will come up, just, just um, minister for a few minutes. While he's doing that, I'll just take a few minutes break. When I come up, we're going to pray on the request. But we are going to take a few testimonies right now. Hallelujah. Now, please check yourself inside and outside. If you see that there is a notable healing, notable miracle, especially for those of you who were delivered. Hallelujah. Notable something left you, a chain broke. God, open your eyes to see something. How do we do it now? Uh, just go to the back. Go to the back. Hallelujah. When Pastor Jakes is done, he will meet you there. Hallelujah. Meanwhile, pass your prayer request quickly. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen to me. While the apostle was ministering to those, the women with the, the burying cases. Now listen to me. One of you, three of you, this is what I saw, kind of babies you were carrying. Hallelujah. I saw the clothes the babies were wrapped in. They call it, is it turquoise blue? Is it turquoise blue? One was white, then the other was pink. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We did not discuss this before I came. Early on, while speaking to you, and I told you a woman will come giving a testimony of a baby. Are you following? Please. Pay attention to what the Lord is doing tonight. Hallelujah. First, because God will confirm his word and God will confirm the prophetic declarations of his servants. Hallelujah. I'll pray for some people right now. Please lift up your hands. The Lord communicated to me. The intention of Satan is to take away somebody's life during NYSE. Are you following just three days into NYSE. Hallelujah. And I began to weep. And I'll pray right now and the Lord will roll that thing away. Are you following what I'm saying? Please listen to me. I do not know who you are, but the Lord will locate you. Are you following? Whether it's your family member or whatever, that the hand of God will locate you. The devil is a bastard. Are you following what I'm saying? Satan is a bastard. How can somebody, God, the parents will train you to a point where you are supposed to bring blessing and suddenly the plan of Satan is to take away that life. Because people have projected from the village. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Father, we thank you. Please lift up your hands. Thank you, blessed Lord. <laughs> thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, blessed Lord. Mang Rikoto Panibong Rafiketale Brasso Pratelia Leon Jimbembrong Rate Kapota Virata Labara Baba Baba. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. That intention from the pit of hell, the fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you right now. In the name of Jesus, let the angels of God, ha <laughs> ha, aha, let the angels of God locate you. Ushers, please take note. Mark Repong, Jiketa Viron, Vendele, Araba Babandaya, Riano Robo Baba Bela Gale Bosana, Riata Pong, Rakte Keteria, Bakitong, Jiketa Viratose, 
I rebuke that hand of death. We roll away that spirit of death. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. Please still lift up your hands. The Lord will break chains. The Bible says, whatsoever he does, prospereth. The, works, the Lord is to bless the works of our hands. Chains tying people's hands down. The sword of the spirit will break through. And the Lord will release financial blessings. Please listen to me. Because some of you from now, please pay attention to what I'm saying. Checks will be written. Are you following? Financial blessings will come. I'm telling you, I know what I'm saying. Financial blessings will come to you. There are people that your family have been suffering. They've been trying. Your father has been working. But his, their hands are chained. Their hands are chained. And the fire of God will go through. Some of you will literally feel the fire of God in your hands. There are chains around your hands that will be broken right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Please just lift up your hands. Let the sword of God's spirit go. Let chains be broken right now. Let chains be broken. Even outside. Let chains be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Let the chains be broken right this moment. Let chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains, chains. Chains holding your businesses down. Your father's prosperity, your family's prosperity, the works of your hands. Let the blessings of God come upon it right now. In the name of Jesus. Barrio Rapidon Rapidon Zepregila Lingzon Rapigata Chakraton Rebalooske Baliro Koto Paralana Bakate Gosu Paragale Bosha Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Jesus. Please, those of you with chest conditions, the Lord wants to touch you now. Are you following? Those of you with chest conditions, thank you, Lord. Please just lay your hands on your chest. Chest conditions around your heart, your lungs. Please just lay your hands. I sense the Lord touching you there right now. Just lay your hands on your chest. Blessed Lord. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you will feel a warmth. A warmth around your chest region. The Lord will be touching you right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Let healing come to you right now. You will feel a release. You sense a release right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that chest condition. Let it go. Let it go in the name of Jesus. Let it go right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That devil holding your chest, I command a release right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Just before I hand the mic over, the Lord communicates to me about these people. The Lord wants to grant you wings of ego. I hear what I'm saying? Wings of ego. It's for some people, it's not everybody I'm talking to. Wings of, of, of ego. The Bible is the amount of with wings as ego to come as grace in the spirit wings of ego you're so high you're so high in the spirit <laughs> please lift up your hand I'm telling you the Lord will 
Grant you wings of eagle. Thank you, blessed Lord. Holy Spirit, let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God rest upon them. Let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God right now as I speak in the name of Jesus for those people blessed one ha blessed one for those people my God let the hand of God come upon you Rando Koshi Pratila let the hand of God come upon you the hand of God comes upon you the hand of God comes upon you the hand of God comes upon you Oshas help me find those people the hand of God comes upon you. Just bring them to the right here. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand God of, of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Just bring them to the right here. Bring them to the right. Wings to mount up. Wings as eagles to mount up. Wings. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you now. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you right now. Rate poto parita bo liberosi ila raba has tu pirati landa bakia ko shikse supra nende man shakila ba ujale. I dare you will not recover. Are you hearing? You will not recover because you begin to have experiences, dangerous experiences. Bari ro si pretile brendo prati kado pranira bila zingo si pretila ha. Help me find that guy and that lady outside. I spoke about. Liro su pretila zando ro si ke to pranira kata bila ranando sing radiata. of Looking at my cute baby, this lady was participating powerfully. Hallelujah! Praise God! Now we are going to pray. I hope we have all the requests. Who has not written? Please, one minute quickly, just write quickly and come and drop it. God answers prayers in this place. Mighty prayers. There's still a lot to do. God is blessing people. There are impartations going on. Don't wait until you come out. Hallelujah. All right, everybody stand. This is a very prophetic moment. Please stand. Online, I hope we are connecting. Prayer, all the prayer requests that have been submitted online. is left we want to pray on the request right now hallelujah 
Every request in this place is turned to testimonies. Hallelujah. Please, those, even as we pray, there will be impartations. So those who are here, as much as possible, um, just relax so that you don't get up and then you collapse on the way. Hallelujah. Do we have any more prayer requests? Okay, let's give one more minute quickly. I see people rushing with their request. Please, for all our miracle services, we pray on request. This was an instruction that God gave us. We cannot meet every need. Those who are online, connect with us. Mighty testimonies have come up. Hallelujah. We've had barren women have triplets. We've had genotypes changed. We've had all kinds of unbelievable testimonies. Let's see how this episode will be right now. Praise God. Pastor, Pastor Williams, please celebrate him as he comes. Pastor, James, we are going to pray. Pastor Williams is going to lead us through this prophetic session. All I need you to do is stretch your hands and say amen when it's time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us spirit over 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 this request Jehovah by our Satalaba. We can't teach it and be Galabado Shitaba. We push it and we do Shitaba. Let them be miracles, not at the bracket. Let them be breakthrough, but as it let the impossible become possible. We can't pass a Shitaba. Miracle jobs in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost, Shitaba, Shitaba. Let doors open, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let there be possibility. Let the possible become possible. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of our Lord Jesus, in the name of our Lord Jesus, let the man and woman conceive and rejoice. In the name of our Lord Jesus, let there be creativity. In the name of our Lord Jesus, like a Oh, my inner city, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power. By the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the finger of the Most High, by your power, oh God, by the greatness of that power, let the enemy submit by the blood of Jesus, let submit by the blood of Jesus, let submit by the blood of Jesus, let doors open for your people, let doors open, even those who are online, let doors open in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles, miracles, testimonies, miracles. Testimonies, miracles, let it happen now. Miracles, let it be testimonies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let that which is impossible with men become possible now. Now, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you very God. Bless be the name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Every request here we declare in the name of Jesus, it is turned into testimonies now. It is turned into testimonies now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere right now before we enter the prophetic session. Oh, 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 oh. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere.
Hallelujah. The Lord is going to do mighty things right now in this place. It's another dimension of the mighty things that you'll be doing. Hallelujah. Please, brothers and sisters, listen. God will not bring you to this place to waste your time. I told you all you need to do is to believe. All you need to do is to believe. Hallelujah. We are going to begin to decree. And the power of God will move in another dimension in this place. Please, I like you to believe. I want you to shout amen. I want you to believe. It's time for breakthrough. It's time for the limitations that tie people maritally, job-wise. It's time for it to bow. It's time for yokes to be destroyed. And we'll also pray that there will be impartation. Some of you came to take fresh grace. Some of you have exhausted certain spiritual levels. Some doors have just refused to open. You have fasted, you have prayed. We have come tonight by the grace of God to supply grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. Prophetic words are very, very powerful. Hallelujah. It's not about speaking. It's about creating. Hallelujah. The prophetic word of God does not just reveal your problem. You already know what the problem is. But creating solution. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Oh, that you will believe, brothers and sisters. That you will believe. That you will believe. Last miracle service, a lady had two pressing requests. One of it was to get a life partner. For her, it was becoming a serious issue. The second was to get a job. I sent the leaders the text. The very next day, after Friday like this, the next day, somebody that has been playing around has not been serious today he's here tomorrow is there the very next day this brother just came and said look i'm ready to be serious we're going to get married and that listen listen don't clap yet the that same saturday she got a text that on the next wednesday she should come for an interview that one is not just a miracle that's what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes began to speak about finances. We are going to pray for that. And for other issues. Are you ready to receive? For your loved ones. Lift up your hands. It does wonders in our midst. I started seeing this since Tuesday. I saw a big padlock bigger than this building and it was closed and I don't assume explanations when the Lord has not told me what it is hallelujah even till I came here God did not tell me anything about it and when I sat down while past, I mean while I was standing there Pastor Jakes was ministering and the Holy Spirit told me to open the doors of prison to them that are bound to open the doors of prison to them that are bound thank you jesus Now in the name of Jesus, every tied down marital destiny, every lady that is due for marriage, every brother that is due for marriage, and nothing is happening, this night, I command that door be open. 
be open now. Doors of marriage be open now. I call forth your life partner into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it now. Every marital chain over your life, I open it and I break that chain now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For all those trusting God for job, you have applied and applied, you have done everything you know to do. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare, doors of jobs scattered around this nation and beyond, I compel you in the name that is above all names, open now, open now, open now. Federal government jobs, oil company jobs, bank jobs, in the name of Jesus. I release it to your life. I release it to your life. Where you do not have helpers, may my God step in for you. May God step in for you. May God step in for you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every family here that has begun a building project and has not been able to complete it for whatever reason, right now, I compel that project to be completed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every power that holds that project I challenge you in the name that is above all names. Let God's people finish what they have started in the name of Jesus. Every academic issue in this place. Whether admission issue, whether graduation issue, whether whatever issue, service issue, in the name that is above all names, I pray right now for every academic darkness, let there be light now, 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 now. For those that the devil has tied down and has said you will not finish, whether it's your undergraduate, whether your master's, whether your PhD, whatever, I command the doors of, of graduation to be open for you now. Whatever course needs to be waived, we waive it now. We waive it now. We waive it now. Whoever has vowed that you will not graduate this night, we compel them to let you go. And for those who have been trusting God for service, you are finished. The name will come out, your name will not be there. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray right now. May God move in a way no man can explain. And may you be mobilized in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for every family that has, has tried to move forward. There are families that are tied down, not as individuals, as a family. It will keep working for others, but when it gets to your turn, it stops. Tonight, in the name that is above all names, whatever has not been working in your family, we move it now in the name of Jesus. 
whatever mountain we challenge it. Rekata, sosote, abarekata, masote, bariata. I challenge it. I challenge it. I challenge that mountain in the name of Jesus. Say kabalata kabalata she. Hallelujah. Every spirit that is responsible for fight and quarrels in the house. Some of you, your parents are under yokes you cannot understand. It's not their fault, but tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every power upon your family members that will not bring peace at all. I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus. I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty things are happening in this place. Hallelujah. I want to pray and break the curse of poverty. There are some families, it doesn't matter how much they give you. Something will eat it up. You buy a car to have accident. You build a house, rain will wash it. Right now I pray that any covenant of poverty that was entered in Rakata Bosota Repo Shotala on behalf of your family, I set it on fire now. I set it on fire now. Now, 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 now. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm still going to pray that the power of God is going to move upon some people in a mighty way. Because this poverty in families must be broken. People have gotten into prostitution because of it. There are people who think you are lazy. They do not know that there are forces behind are you hearing what I'm saying? Lift your hands. I will first pray for you, 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 before your family. Forget about your family for one minute. And pray for yourself. If you don't need it, just put down your hands. But if you are tired at where you are, and you are saying, Lord, I'm not too young to be blessed. Lift your hands. When I count three, shout the name of Jesus, the power of God. Man, it will fall like fire. That cause, my God, I pray that that yoke of poverty will be lifted. Are you ready now? One, two, three. We cause it, we cause it, we cause it, we cause it. We cause it. Poverty dies now, now, now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very dangerous prayer for you right now. Remember the teaching I did on activating breakthroughs. The ministry of destiny help us hear me there are many of you where you are now you have the gift you have the skill you just need those who need what you have you have it you just need somebody hear me the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon hallelujah many of you after this meeting i tell you on that god they will send for you. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. Whoever across this globe called earth has been destined to locate you and honor the grace upon your life, wherever they are, except God is not God in this place. I pray tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost, I call them into your life. Receive their ministry. Receive their ministry. Receive their ministry. 
Destiny help us wherever you are in the name of the Lord Jesus wherever you are from this night through phone calls emails supernatural coincidences connect to them connect to them connect to them hallelujah hallelujah I want to pray against the plague of death. 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 Lift your hands for you and your loved ones. Hear me. The Bible says, with long life, it didn't say, will I give you? It said, will I satisfy you? You are supposed to be satisfied with it. Hallelujah. And no devil should cut short your life. I want to pray for you now. Every plague of death over any life here or over any family by the power of the blood be lifted now in the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Listen. Do you know why the psalmist prayed a very powerful prayer? He said, you are my glory and the lifter up of my head. That means something lifted it down. So that those that will see it and bless it cannot see it. I pray for you. Whatever has put your head down. So that nobody will bless you. This night. According to the prayer of the psalmist, lay your hands on your head. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, whatever has put you down, I prophesy, arise, 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 shake it, take it, my proto kotosa, arise, hallelujah. Keep your hands up, please. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, It shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. He said, Whatsoever he does, prospers. Lift those hands. Every curse that the devil wants to put upon your hands, there are some of you, Anything that touches your hand fails. No matter what it is from tonight, that yoke comes to an end in the name of Jesus. That yoke comes to an end in the name of Jesus. That yoke comes to an end in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray against habits. Look at me. There are people dying of all kinds of habits from all kinds of lust to all kinds of things are you getting what i'm saying this is what gives satan access into the lives of many people doesn't matter how they pray for you doesn't matter how they they deliver you you will find yourself paul said that the things that i want to do I do not find myself doing them. He said, and the things that I don't want to do, that's what I find myself doing it. He said, with my spirit, I serve the Lord. But in my body, I see another law working in my members. And he said, oh wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of death? I want to pray for you. Take this prayer very seriously. Because many of us, after all the prayers and the deliverances, we keep opening doors. I want to pray for you. It takes grace. It's not about struggle. Listen. Say, look at me. If you want to use willpower to say, I want to force myself not to sleep with this sister, you are joking. Except you are not a man that God created. 
many people have tried to use force this is where grace comes in you see grace is a powerful ability of the spirit it makes you extraordinary that's why some people don't believe that there are people who can walk in holiness they say it's impossible did you know that wicked spirits are behind these promptings you see a matured man who go and carry a little girl like this one this baby huh the baby that he can give birth to how many times and then still want to molest it's not normal brothers and sisters or pornography once you see free internet your body is shaking no it's not normal either the victory of jesus christ is a lie or there is something wrong we want to settle that issue tonight lift your hands in the name of jesus christ every fleshly desire that although you love god you are seeing another law whatever power that sponsors this operation of lust and immorality i curse you to your root in the name of jesus i curse you to your root in the name of jesus i curse you to your root in the name of jesus i release you from every kind of habit you have been praying about be free now be free now be free now hallelujah hallelujah the bible says and jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with god and men there are many of us there is nothing like favor in your life when you hear people talk about favor you just keep clapping for them but the sincere truth is that you don't have that testimony somebody can come and meet you come somebody can meet you and say take me to sister a's house you will escort them they will go and bring sister a and leave you it's not so favor is the sign that the presence of god is with you and if you truly have the presence of god something a signature somebody should just like you and bless you lift your hands let me pray for you if you have not been shouting amen this is a place to shout and amen and receive i pray let the oil of favor may it mantle your life now in the name of jesus 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 favor 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 i'm going to pray that prayer one more time many of you do not know that one day of favor can end some wicked struggles in your life are you hearing what i'm saying favor somebody called a man of god and told him he says sir for the rest of your life i want to be giving you allowance for food forever what kind of what kind of thing is that and this is somebody that is blessed hallelujah a lady walked up to me some months ago and said every month i will be bringing cake for you every month she brings cake for me every month there are people that send me recharge card every month as as a covenant between them and god there are people that say every month i'm showing it no matter what it is see god can bring somebody who will like you no strings attached they are just compelled by god to bless you may those kind of people find you after this night may those kind of people find you hallelujah hallelujah listen let me share with you a true story and it's the story of somebody i know 
this guy was trusting God for a breakthrough in his life things had gone so bad are you getting what I'm saying and he just went to Abuja when he went to Abuja he just met his friends hear me the friends told him just follow me and he followed them sheepishly only to go and find out that they were they were trying to negotiate a land how much was the land 720 million naira and the agents will get 10 percent 72 million and they, with him they became four he thought he was dreaming when they gave them they said you you followed us you have something this guy became a millionaire overnight see i don't believe in laziness but there is so much your hard work can do lift your hands one more time i pray for you where you have struggled where you are running may the favor of god pick you in the name of jesus may the favor of god pick you hallelujah 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 I want to pray one more prayer. Hallelujah. The Lord was ministering to me about something, so I was just waiting to be sure. Now I'm going to pray for you. This is the last prayer point. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of you do not know that the biggest secret of being successful in life is to carry the fire of the Lord upon your life. Hallelujah. The sincere truth is there are many of us who love breakthrough. We love miracles. But this passion for God is not there. We can run to God and come and make promises. Oh God, I will do X, Y, Z. But except your heart is with God, blessings will kill you are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us the day you see one million in your account with your eyes that day you will tell god wait till the day the devil whips you and whips everything away you will remember god again i want to pray for me i consider this to be the biggest part of this meeting and it's an impartation i want to release grace and fresh fire Please stand up everybody. Let's honor this prayer request. This is why some of you came, especially some of you who are pastors or in ministry. You cannot afford to do ministry in a powerless way. You will struggle for nothing. It's what will make you angry with people. And it's what will lead you to go and start dipping your hands into ungodly things because you are looking for power. There are pastors now running helter skelter going everywhere because they want power for signs and wonders and god can give it freely our goal in this place hear me i've said it again and again is not for us to have some superstar men of god trying to help some people no is to empower you and release you to go and do the works hallelujah there are some of you that have been praying and say lord will you put an anointing upon my life that will cause my generation to hear my voice there are many of you who have been praying and say lord my prayer life is dead there is even nothing there again there are some of you your word life is dead the last time you read your bible was during koinonia last week i'm going to pray for you there will be an impartation and i'm going to release spiritual gifts Paul said, I desire to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift. This thing is not about struggling. If it's there, it's there. If it's not there, it's not there. Period. I'm wearing a suit. I cannot assume I'm wearing a suit. I'm not wearing a kaftan. No matter how I pull this suit down, it's not a kaftan. Brothers and sisters, I see the way many people behave over anointing. This is not how God trained us. When you catch it, you know you have it. Paul said, such as I have. This struggle that people do, it is not there. 
period I don't want you to have a struggling Christian life that will make you to start lying bringing prophecies that are not of God misleading people into things that God did not say because you are under pressure to show that you have power you lay hands on people they are not healed you force them to say they are healed brother if that healing power is there it will show you don't need to tell people i have it people are not blind they are not stupid they know when authentic power is there there are ministers that are struggling struggling arrogantly and they will not know there is an easy path in the spirit today i want to pray for you if you will believe that something will come upon your life it's not enough to see the things that happen here these things are available if you are really interested lift your hands i want to pray for you from the depth of my heart you are a pastor you are an evangelist you are an apostle you are a prophet you are a ministry or you just have a passion for god and your christian life has died fire is coming upon you lift your hands just keep your hands lifted Jesus, let a fire of impartation. Your people need fire. They need power in their life. Right now at the count of three, there will be a release of mighty impartations. After the count of three, I'd like you to shout out this in goodness. The power of God will move in a mighty way. I will release it from the depths of my heart. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Baba ba sheka la bariara. Receive it. Fire altars coming alive. Sheka ta ta ta. Prayer altars coming alive by the power of the Holy Ghost. Fresh power. Fresh fire. Let it come like a mantle upon your life, inside and outside. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Lift your hands as I begin to release the gifts of the Spirit. Whichever it is that is for you, it will hit you where you are right now. Let the gift of wisdom, my God, upon as many. Just a symbol. Take it now. Take it now. The gift of wisdom. The word of knowledge. Receive it like fire. Take it. Take it. The gift of healing. In the name of Jesus. Let the healing anointing fall. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Healing fire. Healing fire. So toto kaba. Rekete lekata. Ta proto shota balarada. Let the gift of prophecy. I command prophetic fountains at the count of three be open. One, two, three. Take, 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 take. Take it right now. Prophetic fire. 
possessing fire. Shekete Terebosha. For those so far. Shekete. Grace for visions. Grace for prophecy. Dimensions of spiritual experiences. Shekete Give for tongues. Receive it. Interpretation of tongues. The working of miracles. The working of miracles. The mantle to move powerfully in the miraculous. You will raise wheelchairs. Blind eyes will be open. Deaf ears will be open. Take it now. Take it now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. For those of you in business or all kinds of entrepreneurial things, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that anointing that was upon Joseph that made him do supernatural things, I pray right now, may that anointing upon as many who are in business, they are in entrepreneurship and are kingdom financiers. Right now, let it fall upon you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every request that you came here with, whatever made you to leave your house, and come here tonight whether it has been mentioned or not i lift up my hands and in the name that is above all names we turn that request into a testimony we turn that request into a testimony It will never be the same again. I want to give you an opportunity right now to make it right with Jesus. Keep standing inside and outside. Please everybody listen to me. No distraction. I want to give you an opportunity right now. Of all of the mighty things that God has done in this place, the greatest of all miracles, please keep standing, is the salvation of your soul. And I know there are people here who have never made it right with God. You've always wanted to. But you've not seen any reason. Some of you outside belong to this category. And right now, I'm going to make an altar call. Some of you have given your heart to the Lord. But sincerely, you have derailed from the things of God. It's time to make it right tonight. All of these miracles are a demonstration of the love of God and I do not want you to miss this opportunity I'm going to count one to five wherever you are the Holy Ghost is already speaking to you the Bible says as many as will come to him he will in no wise cast away it's time for you to begin a journey that will make your life count in this life and secure your, your eternity with Christ Therefore, wherever you are, it's my pleasure to invite you right now. Inside and outside, don't wait for anybody to come. You are the first to come. As I begin to count, please leave your seat. One, God bless you. Hurry up, rush, come out. As though it's a matter of life and death, because it is. Two, please hurry up. Don't let anybody stop you. Let them see you. It's better for them to see you. And you make heaven. Three. Koinonia celebrate them. They are coming. Encourage them. As many from outside. Don't let anybody stop you. Four. Just one more counter. We are done. Jesus is inviting you. An end to your struggles. You have tried. You have done your best. You have done all you know to do. It says come unto me. All ye that are heavy laden and weary, and I will give you rest. It's called the Prince of Peace. When he comes into your life, he truly brings peace. We are waiting for you quickly. Quickly, anybody. 
appreciate them. They are still coming. God bless you. God bless you. This is why God brought you here. Hallelujah. Now, those of you in front, I congratulate you for coming to make this glorious decision. God bless you. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I want to pray for you. Mean it from the depths of your heart. Reciting it as a poem does not make you born again. But from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died for me. I confess my sins. I ask you to help me tonight. Forgive my sins. Cleanse me with your precious blood. From today, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I'm a child of God. Forward ever. Backward never. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. Function through me. Make me an ambassador of the kingdom. I denounce sin and Satan. Whatever is not of God cannot thrive in my life again. I am a true Christian. I am a child of God. I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep your hands lifted. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your power. I thank you for what you are doing in their lives. I pray that their experience will last in the name of Jesus. Receive these ones and make them mighty men. Secure their eternal destiny in Christ. And I give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. Now quickly, I want you to follow the ushers. They will have your details and will follow you up tomorrow by 5 o'clock. Please listen. for and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching